Hi Paul, it's just Adam. What we're going to be doing on this video, I'm just going to show you how to make a backup of the website. Whenever you do any adjustments to the website, it is really worth spending just a couple of minutes just to create backup so that if you do crash it all, you've got it there ready to go. And then I can just reinstall the whole website for you. Okay, so what I'll do, I'm here in the background, we're now in the dashboard. Okay, down the side, I'll leave it on permanently. You have this, which is called All-in-One WP Migration. When you highlight over there, you'll see it's got Export. Okay, so you click on Export. And you open up the new, new page. And you just want to go here, Export to, File. And it will now just go through the process. Normally it takes a couple of minutes, so I'll end up pausing the video in a sec. So as you can see, this is the amount of files that make up your actual website. Over 6,000 files are in the website. That doesn't include the apps or anything like that. That is just what we've built onto the website. Right, nearly there for the thing. Okay, now that's done, you'll get this. Now when you click onto this part, it will download it to the download section of your computer, which basically will be there. Have a look down the side, you'll see download somewhere. And it'll just download it into here. Okay, it will have a date and a time marker on it as well, so you know which is your latest one that you've done. Obviously, you can see there's 196 megabytes so it's going to take a couple of minutes to do, so I'll just quickly pause the video. Oh yeah, that's me back. That's now downloaded. You see, when it's downloading, this will have a blue line going around it like that. It's now complete. That file will now be, hopefully, within here somewhere. Let's have a look. Let's see, gee, good. Now yeah, that's what the file looks like, and as you can see, it has a different number, so you'll know which ones are your latest ones, because if the number gets higher and higher. Okay, what I would recommend doing, copy and pasting that into a separate folder where you just keep all your, your backups. Okay, once it's done, just click on close, just return to this. Um, if it was to crash, or something was to go wrong, all you need to do is contact me, and I'll re-import it. It's a lot more complicated doing the import, so don't try and do that yourself. Um, just as long as we've got the backups, we're on to a winner.